We love her. She's an actress <laughs> and reality star whose self-proclaimed title is Miss Guinea Pig. She's married to a plastic surgeon. She's a Hollywood veteran. She's also a friend of our show. Please welcome back Heather Dubrow. Yes. Yes. Yeah, well, thanks for coming back. Because uh, first of all, um, missed you at BravoCon. <laughs> Saw you looking fabulous. Thanks. Yeah. Uh, but Heather, I want to talk about you and your husband, Terry, because I'm a fan, huge Bravo-holic, and you wrote a book together, The Only Guide You'll Ever Need to the Best Anti-Aging Treatments. Mm -hmm. So it's safe to say, through trial and error, you know a thing or two about how to embrace the changes that come with aging. So when society tells us to resist, how do we embrace it? You know, it's hard. And you guys, we all know more than anyone that living in the world of high def television is not a friend to anyone <laughs> over the age of like 22. It's not easy to look at every bump and every line and every everything. But listen, I think what's the most important thing to do is do what makes you happy and what you feel good about. There are some people that'll get their hair colored, but they don't want to get Botox. There's some people that get Botox, but don't want to have surgery. You do what, what works for you. And that is the most important thing. Don't get talked into things. Mm -hmm. Heather, always good to see you. You look fantastic. But what are some of the biggest anti-aging scams that you've seen that don't live up to the Hollywood hype? Okay, anything you see out there that says it's gonna tighten your skin, a laser, a, an infrared, a this or that, it, the, the technology is not there. Mm -hmm. it, hopefully it will be someday, but you still have to cut and pull and suture to get skin tight. And I think it's like hope in a laser that's being sold and they're very expensive. Yeah. And I do not believe that they work at all. Ooh, she's gonna save a lot, of, yeah. be a lot of money. That's really good, I love that. All right, I tend to do this a lot, and I know it's giving me this. Are there other bad habits that we can have that make us look older? You know, I do a lot of this. Like the way you're talking? Can you stop? <laughs> Okay, well, you know what? That's a very, that's a very good question because when I first met Terry and I came from New York and I didn't really know about, you know, all this California Botox and the things and whatever. And he said, when you make that face, you get these lines right here. I said, I do not. And then I watched myself. I was on a TV show on the WB at the time and I watched myself and I went, I make those, I have those lines. Those things are very, very easy to correct. But I will tell you, I think one of the most important things we can do for our physical appearance is our posture. Yeah. Standing up straight, sitting up straight, walking with your head facing forward, not looking down on our devices, which can give us tech neck. Yeah. Not cute. All of those things. But it also it gives you a, a different air and a different amount of confidence as you walk into a room. It's really just good all around. There's a TED talk about that being as big as possible before an interview. But it really is more just look at it just artificially. Like this isn't becoming, but yeah. this is becoming. So I appreciate <laughs> yes. that little trick. So speaking of tricks, what are the easiest tricks besides that one that we can do at home to look youthful without the knife or breaking the bank? Okay, you know, I'm all about the anti-aging, so the non-surgical anti-aging solutions, which is so crazy because I'm married to a plastic surgeon. But I figure, you know, in 10 or 15 years, like I'll be the only one that can play the older roles in scripted television. So <laughs> I'm kind of like banking on that. But when you're at home, it's really, really important. And I know this sounds very basic. You must wash your face every day and you need a good skincare routine. You don't have to spend a fortune. You don't need a cream with some ingredient flown in from faraway places with the eye of a nude in it. You can go to the drugstore. <laughs> you can get very basic things, but you have to wash your face and you have to use the skincare. You just have to. All right. So would that be the one thing you could say that helps you look younger? What would your one thing be? Would it be washing and hydration? <laughs> washing. Definitely, washing. Definitely washing. washing. I say washing. Definitely. I, definitely hydration, but I, I know this sounds trite, but I, I have to be honest, being happy really does so much for you. If you ever think about a bride on her wedding day, that glow that a bride has when she's getting married, it's this happy, amazing day. And that kind of happiness spills out onto how beautiful someone looks on that day. And if we could bottle that and realize that our lives are happy and be, have your gratitude intact and start your day every day like that, that oozes out of your pores in such a real way. We, we gotta work on that. <laughs> you need to work on that. <laughs> but whenever we're in a two shot, I'm just thinking in my head, how can I make fun of Sam? <laughs> <laughs>
the city pocket. You guys are so cute. <laughs> We're so cute. That's that's nice. uh, in your book. You often mention you opt to do your own makeup. I also try and do that because I want to just have control a bit. What makeup tips do you use that help with aging skin? Particularly, I'm dealing with um, the really bad wrinkles right under where you know what I'm saying. Yeah. It's fine lines uh, creasing, creasing. Bags. Yeah. Well, less is definitely more. Um, I think sometimes we get nervous when we're doing our makeup and we want to put more on yeah. to cover. And you and you don't, especially as we get older, we actually need less makeup and less powder. And you just want to keep everything. It's all, really all about hydration. And I remember, you know, back in my 20s and 30s being on scripted TV, we would do a lot of airbrush makeup. Yeah. And that can be really drying. So you really just want to keep going for the products that have moisture. Okay. Okay. That's good. Okay, Heather, we're a little short on time, but I just got to know because this doesn't have okay. anything to do with aging, but the people need to know. Yeah, I want to know this too. You saw okay. that. That mega amazing mansion yes. in Orange County. <laughs> and there's a speculation that you may be moving to Beverly Hills child oh, and yes. joining the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. Is that a hot oh. take or a hype? <laughs> I love you so much. Um, <laughs> I have no idea. But here's the truth. I don't know where we're going. I don't know what we're doing. We bought this place in LA thinking it was going to be a second home. Is this the penthouse? Yes. Okay, I'm and it's all so in it. Cool. You have to come over. It's super cool. Okay, I and will. Then, <laughs> and then Josh Altman drops in, and we sold our house. Wow. And now we're kind of like tearing our like teenagers. Like, where are we going? What are we doing? We got two kids. Wow. Two almost out the door. I, I guess the answer is you're just gonna have to wait. And see. Oh. I'll be watching. Yeah, I will, will be watching. And but Eric, I'm, I'm going to take you up on that invite. Oh, yeah. Eric has already booked Come her on. plane ticket. <laughs> yeah. She's like, yeah. Hi, Heather. <laughs> Heather, thank you so much. Or should we say Miss Guinea Pig for testing products and methods so we don't have to. DBL Nation, get your copy of Dr. and Mrs. Guinea Pigs, the only guide you'll ever need to the best anti-aging treatments on Amazon. Thank you so much, Heather. We hope to see you soon. And Erica, just make Thanks, sure you guys. send us pictures of her house. Absolutely. <laughs> Penthouse, here I come. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what my eyes. <gosh. laughs>